Hey guys, so today I am going to paint just from my imagination using no reference at all. And all I did was I sketched out a little sketch here with, as you can see, some flowers um, and then the leaves okay, and a little vase. So I've never really painted anything just strictly from my mind. So today I'm just going to do a little challenge and just for fun and see what happens. The brushes I'm using are um, a little liner brush with a belly. I love this for flowers. And a flat half inch square brush. And I'm going to use that for the negative space. The colors that I'll be using are right here. Uh, this is like a hot pink, um, a bright red, orange, lemon yellow. Uh, this is sap green. This is viridian. This is a lime green or a neon green. Uh, that is cerulean blue. This is like a royal blue and that's a light purple or violet purple. Lavender purple, I'm sorry. And of course, white right in the middle. Okay. So to start with, Using my pointer, my uh, liner brush, I'm going to start off by painting the uh, center of my flowers. And just very loosely, I'm going to um, just start off with a little center on each one in my red. Okay. Nothing too definitive, just each one in a different uh, direction, just like that, very loosely, just making little views, okay? So I decided... Um, In a video. I decided I'm going to paint this one um, soft pink. So I'm just going to start making lines here to indicate petals. And perhaps a little bit of purple on the bottom. Of that one. And I'm going to make like the light is coming from this direction, from the left side. So I'm putting in some white. Right alongside there. And then there's a little bit more purple. white and back with the red and turn the center a little bit. So this is a very loose, somewhat abstract painting. So I want I'm putting in big blobs of paint. And I am purposely making the pink somewhat disappear. I just want it to look very subtle. So 
Okay, so I want different colored flowers. Okay, so my next one I'm going to make an orange. And again, with my pointer brush with the belly, I'm putting in my orange. Imagine the way a flower would look. And then in all the negative spaces like there, I put in my white. Just to soften that. See how I, I hold the brush like way in the back? I don't hold it up front like this, like if it's a pencil. Hold it in the back so that you can make those loose strokes. Okay. I'm wiping off my brush on a little towel and. Sorry about the noise. Um, picking up some yellow. And I'm just putting in a little bit of yellow where the orange and the white would meet. Okay. And I'm coming back and just putting in some more white. Big blocks of white. Big blocks of white. Going back with my orange, and in the center, kind of defining the center. Okay, this I wiped off my brush. I don't really put it in water too often. I don't like it to get all wet and then thins out the paint. So I'm picking up some yellow now and I'm making this flower a yellow. Just like that, just big blobby strokes. And I'm going to assume this has a little bit of shadows on the bottom. That's a little bit of orange in there and I'm also going to use a little bit of purple to indicate some more shadows and now I'm coming out with my highlight of white big blobs of white see that I do two strokes and I pick up more paint you don't want to highlight the whole entire thing you want some of it to show Good to work fast that way you don't think too much about details because that's what abstracts are all about it doesn't have a whole lot of detail it's just an indication okay i'm picking up more yellow and i'm coming back and just putting back a little bit more yellows okay. pretty easy All right now my little center flowers these little ones I'm gonna make them in a pink Just like that my little petals coming out of here that they might not be roses they might just be some other lilies and some purple at the bottom that just whatever up a little white. Okay, don't get too caught up with details. Alright. And maybe this flower I want it to be another hot pink.
with a little bit of red. We change it up a little bit. And again, I'm going to do a little bit of highlights. And there are not too many. Oh, that's just a little pinker. Wiping off my brush again. And I'll repeat that same thing right here with this flower. Pink. And since my light is coming from the left side, sorry. I'm going to put my whites right here. Back a little bit of red just to show reflection. And then this flower, I'm going to make it more of an orangey color, and lots of white. Lots of white. Okay, more white. Okay, I'm going to bring in a little bit of the red in the center. Orange and white. Okay. And again, I am not working from a reference photo, but if you want to work from a reference photo, go ahead and do that. You don't have to um, not work from a reference photo. I just wanted to kind of challenge myself a little bit. And not work from a reference. All right, so now my leaves. Um, I'm going to make my leaves all different tones of green. So I'm picking up the sap green and just filling in a couple of my leaves. The ones that are more towards the bottom, I'm going to make them darker. And just working very loosely and just very loosely make that one a little bit lighter. I'll make this one the uh, lime green. This one too. I'll make another one mixing it with a little white and lime green to make of a turquoise looking leaf. Uh, I'll make this one blue. Put some white in there. Make another one blue. And um, maybe the other one here, I'll make it this. Um, I'll 
Lime green. Make this one more yellowy. This is up top. So, put a little yellow right in here. I'm going to put a little bit of darker green right here. And little indications of leaves. There are some dark blue. Dark blue. Some dark blue. Little green on top. Little yellow. Just little dots here and there. Foliage peeking through. Okay. And over here, I'm going to paint the base royal blue. And come around. This royal blue. And I'm going to put there we go. Sorry guys, I ran out of white. Just trying to All right. So picking up some white, I'm lightening this bottom a little bit. So I just picked up a big blob of white. And just kind of making some indications. Got some light. Coming down, maybe a couple of stems in here, just like that. Maybe it's a light colored um, base, little yellow. So it turns out a little bit more, and maybe we can come back with the blue. These stems. Okay. I come back with my green and just kind of outline these a little bit. Put some yellow on there. So you can tell these are leaves. Separate them from the base. See that? Don't want it to get lost in the base color. Couple of leaves in here. Couple of leaves in there. Just tap it. Okay. And then I'm picking up some hot pink. Okay, I'm picking up some hot pink, 
and I'm just going to kind of go around some of my leaves. Okay. Some purple. more pink just different colors here to give some interest okay and now with my half inch stick brush I'm gonna pick up a little bit of blue little bit of purple and mix those two colors together and a lot of white a lot of white okay a little bit more blue maybe a dab of green just to soften that up and make it look a soft color to put in between in the negative space so working those colors I am I'm gonna put a little bit more green. Just want it to look a little brighter. A little bit more blue. Soften it up with some more white. Okay. You see that pretty color? That's emerging here. Okay. Beautiful soft pastel color. So all I'm gonna do is trace around. My entire image. Okay, tell her I'm recording. Wait a minute. Hold on. Tell her I'm right here and to wait. So I'm recording. very loosely very softly I'm putting on a little bit of highlights here and there Coming back with my liner brush. And I'm just going to come back and very loosely go over some of these leaves a little bit more with the hot pink. Trying to make it stand out a little bit more. Some little stems in there. Okay. And it's pretty much done, guys. It's that easy. 
you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, I'm going to be doing some more videos, and if you're interested in looking at more of my artwork or purchasing anything, I'll put a link below so that you can take a look at my page. If you have any requests or any questions, please feel free to um, put down your comments below. Thank you for watching. This is Iverandino Art. And again, if you subscribe, you will get notification anytime that I put a video up. I'm going to outline this a little bit more so that you can see it. Okay. So don't be afraid. Uh, get your paintbrush and either follow along with me or try to make something from just your imagination as I just did. This was a challenge for me, but it was fun. Okay. Good day.